Hey guys, uh, I'm Jose and this is uh, a new series of tutorials in Unity. Um, right, so this is going to be a series of tutorials um, in scripting in Unity, although being the first one in Unity I'm going to do a few kind of uh, intro to the interface. So this is Unity, um, I just created a new project. Um, you can see that you can move uh, around in very similarly like in Maya, right? So with Alt, left click, you can orbit. Uh, Alt, middle mouse, uh, you can just pan. And then the middle mouse, sorry, the right uh, mouse button and Alt allows you to zoom in and out, right? Um, and basically I have a different layouts here um, where you can just decide uh, how you want to work. Right, but this one's the one I like pretty much. Uh, I lost the grid here, so I just can click here, so you can see. Um, but this is the main view. We have uh, the hierarchy. This is uh, the objects that we have in the scene. So we have the camera, and here is the project. Everything that you change in Unity should be changed here in the project, not in the um, not in Windows or in Mac, just like moving files around, but just like change everything here. So in that way, everything will just stay kind of um, nicely organized by Unity. And here we have the inspector, which is like a context specific menu. Uh, so if I click on any object, I will get specific uh, information out of that object, right? Um, things that you can do is just move W, it's the shortcut, move. And you see that the transform node here, it's moving as well. You could rotate, that's E, shortcut, and R, scale. The camera doesn't really kind of have anything uh, to scale. Um, so let's go ahead and just create a few things here in the scene so we can actually start taking a little bit of a look around. So I'm going to create a game object um, to start explaining how we're going to script in Unity, right? Um, so I'm going to start creating a plane, and you see that I have this plane somewhere in space. I'm going to just put it in 0, 0, 0. And maybe I want to scale it 5, 5. Right, so I have this plane. Uh, and Unity, uh, being a game engine, um, at any time you could just like basically play the game and, and see what you can see through the camera, right? So that's the plane, and this is the sky. We can change the background of that, of what the camera is seeing, to black, for instance, something like that. Right? So quickly, let's create some other stuff, like a cube, just to have something in the scene. So, right. You can see that I'm placing this guy here. So basically Unity, it's not a place where you would actually be creating too much geometry, like most of the geometry you will bring it from somewhere else, but um, you can actually create something like a cube, uh, spheres, and, and several kind of um, elements. And we will be using these guys to just script, and eventually we'll be creating scripts that could be applied also to kind of other kind of geometries. But um, for now we're going to start with uh, these simple elements, right? Um, so let's see what we have. Um, maybe I want to just at this point add a light as well, just to have a little bit more. Uh, so if I had a directional light, why directional light? Just because uh, if you have Unity Pro, the directional light will actually be able to cast shadows. Uh, um, so let's turn shadows on here, shadows, hard shadows. Um, and you see that, there we go. It depends, in a way, um, how far you are from the object. Um, so you see that I can just play with this shadow around, and then if I play now, that looks a bit better. Um, but this is not really a game, um, so um, this camera is not the, the most useful one, um, because we cannot move around, we cannot do anything around. Uh, we can see this cube, but that's not much. So, why don't we just, um, let's create a first person controller, which is, um, if 
you didn't bring any um, packages once you install, uh, started a new project you can do that again by coming here to assets uh, and import uh, packages and character controllers right um, so that should be inside a folder called standard assets character controllers and then you see that you have here a first person controller right so I can drag this guy into the scene and you see that uh, what a uh, this first controller is is just basically a piece of geometry with a camera parented in it that you can see it here in our uh, hierarchy view so it's a piece of graphic which is the geometry and the main camera that is linked to that and here we already have a s few scripts right so we have a script that it's look mouse look so let's see what that does uh, also we have audio discern and graphics doesn't have it sorry about that um, and the graphics don't have anything really um, so I'm gonna again change this is another camera so I have to change the background to this one as well um, the camera that you'll probably see here it's gonna be this one if we play the game we're gonna see everything through this camera because the cameras that you get to see depends on the number on here the depth so this is zero and this other camera is minus one right so this one in a way wins right so like the higher number is the one that it's going to be presented in the screen so you can see that now I'm actually moving around with the mouse and I'm kind of in this space and what I'm pressing here is A W S D are going to become um, a control to be able to move around the scene right and you can see that I can navigate this cube and I cannot really transpass through the cube because um, there's a rigid kind of um, there's a collision object that's stopping me from getting through that right so this is kind of the very first intro to, to unity and starting to develop a game we're not gonna learn how to do a game we're gonna just learn scripting in unity as there's already so many tutorials that can in the internet that can actually help you with that we're just creating a game so we're gonna just stick with the idea of programming. Um, I guess that the, the first lesson uh, here is that in a way the scripts here live inside an object, right? So what we're gonna be doing is just create a script folder here. We can already do that by saying a uh, new folder and we're gonna call this one scripts. And we're gonna be working in a language called JavaScript, right? Which is if you're familiar with the tutorials that I do in processing, uh, it's very similar to Java, but there's a few changes, right? So let's create one just to make an introduction to to JavaScript. Um, so I'm going to create a, a um, JavaScript, and I'm going to call this tutorial one, right? Um, so that's perfect. Now we could, for instance, uh, pick our cube and assign the script to the cube, right? So there's a few ways of doing that. What I'm going to do is just without releasing, if I click on this um, script, you see that this kind of the info, the inspector is going to change. But if I, have, if I have the cube selected, I could just drag it, the um, script into the object. And that would kind of associate this script to the object. And in a way, we can actually associate any script to any object right but um, we might get errors that's the case right so we, we in this case we're linking it to this cube so our cube now has a script associated to that um, so let's see what we can do with the script I'm right clicking on the script and I'm gonna edit the script right and you see that uh, once we edit the script, this kind of new environment shows up, which is a scripting environment for Unity. Depend, it will be slightly different if you're in Mac, but mainly you have this kind of window, right? And it's very similar. And what we have here is two functions that have been set up for us: the function start and the function update. And and this is very interesting because it's very similar to processing as well like uh, you have a function start where basically this is what happens once 
you create the object or once at the beginning uh, of your of your game so this gets executed only once and then you have the update which is something that loops right so it, it gets calculated every frame um, so we're gonna just learn for instance here we can actually create a variable right what is a variable a variable is um, um, it's a um, piece of information that would be in living inside the object, right? So how we do that? We say var, for variable, and we will call it speed, right? Mm -hmm. And in JavaScript, you variable doesn't imply what kind of, what in like what type the variable is, right? So there's a way of describing what kind of variable it is, meaning is it a number, is it a letter, is it a, um, a decimal place number, is it a vector? So we put this uh, column, um, and then we say float, right? And float is a, mm, a floating point variable would be something like 0 0.3 or, you know, like a decimal place number. So we could say 0 0.3. Um, and there we have, we have, I'm going to save it just by pressing Control S. And you'll see that um, if I go back to Unity, automatically, I mean, in just a, f a few seconds, my cube will have in, in the script there would be a variable of speed right um, so that's it's pretty good right um, so let's see if we can actually do our first script right so we're gonna do something like um, because here in unity every object um, has already a lot of information like it's it's been created for us right so for instance a cube has uh, transform node, which is basically the position look, um, vector, the rotation, and the scale, right? So this is a matrix of information that every object will have, right? So let's do something with the transform. The way we access the information of the transform is typing transform um, dot translate, and you see that here the 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 IDE is actually helping me to finish the sentence right so it's telling me translate it's you can just maybe that's what you're looking for and then you can click there uh, so we're gonna say translate and we need to give a vector so we will do a vector here and we're gonna do a vector so we're gonna say new vector three parentheses we could say 0 comma 0 comma 0 that would be the simple one but we want to move it in one direction right um, so we're gonna say speed in X so let's see if this works and if not we'll just have to come back and do some changes right so I saved it and now if I play the script you see it's actually working so the there you go um, the, the box is actually moving but it's moving really fast so it's actually going away from us so we can check the script again and we're accessing the transform node inside the transform node there's a function called translate um, and that function requires a vector to work right so this is a vector um, we could have done it a different way we could have say variable um, v for vector or something and say this is a type vector 3 and it e equals to a new vector and this is the way you describe a vector and we'll see much more in detail what a vector is um, but it's basically three numbers right a number for x a number for y a number for c and in this case I'm just gonna add this v here so I created the variable so what I did before in one line I'm doing it now in two lines to be a bit more explicit right and I'm using this variable speed in the x amount of this translation, I mean of this vector in order to translate the cube. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to see that because I have access to this, sorry about that, um, because I have access to this um, speed value from the, this tab, this inspector already, we could actually change this thing here and we could say 0 0.05, right? so something very slow. So let's see. 
and you see that now the, the, the box is moving. I'm moving myself as well, so this is kind of the effect of just like seeing this box move and just kind of leaving the space like that, right? So I'm moving around with the with the keyboard um, as if it was a game, uh, but this cube is actually moving out of the screen. So we could definitely kind of affect the variables of the screen, the script outside the script uh, by controlling these numbers, right? And this works a little bit like a slider, so you can just like manipulate your variable. Uh, but it seems that 0 0.05 was, was good enough. So um, that's going to be the first tutorial, and the next tutorial we're going to start kind of diving in into more complex um, operations inside scripts. Um, okay, see you guys soon.